You know those nights that become etched into the fabric of your nightmares, refusing to release their grip. Well, this is the haunting tale of one such night. A night that continues to play out in the theater of my dreams, each nocturnal visitation more vivid and sinister than the last. Allow me to share the unsettling chronicles of that cursed evening, the details of which linger like a malevolent shadow. Picture a night so frigid that even the act of drawing breath felt like inhaling shards of ice. In the company of my intrepid companions, we found ourselves drawn to an old, dilapidated house, an architectural relic of times long past. Whispers circulated among the locals, tales of eerie sounds that resonated through the nocturnal stillness, and spectral shadows that cavorted within its time-worn walls. The air inside the forsaken abode was thick with a silence that seemed to predate the very concept of time. As we gingerly explored its chambers, adorned with the remnants of bygone lives and curtains that appeared to conceal the veiled history of epochs, a mysterious creak echoed through the emptiness. Our hearts quickened, propelled by a potent mixture of fear and an insatiable desire to unravel the mysteries that lay hidden. In the midst of this palpable tension, we found ourselves standing before a door that beckoned to be opened, a door that concealed the epicenter of the enigma. As the door swung open, the room unveiled itself, a repository of relics from a Bioni era. An ancient crib cradled within it a weathered baby doll, its eyes seemingly portals to a world long forgotten. Suddenly, the crib protested, releasing a disconcerting creak that arrested our attention, as if demanding acknowledgement from the living for the long forgotten. Our gaze fixated on the motionless doll, but our attention was promptly diverted by an ethereal whisper emanating from the recesses of the room. Let me sleep. A shiver traversed our spines, momentarily paralyzing us. Yet fear, in its ephemeral nature, gave way to instinct propelling us to flee the room as if pursued by phantoms that only the darkness could conceal. However, the haunting whisper did not release its grip. It trailed behind us as we traversed the corridors. Amidst the shifting shadows, a spectral silhouette materialized, casting an ominous presence. A chilling gust of wind brushed against our skin, and within the darkened tapestry of shadows, a woman's voice resonated. Why are you here? Let me sleep. Our trembling hands guided us swiftly out of the haunted domicile. Stepping into the cool embrace of the night, we were met with the gaze of elderly eyes peering through the house's windows. Tears welled in those eyes, and in that unsettling moment, the line between the corporeal and the supernatural blurred like a watercolor painting in the rain. Since that ominous night, the haunting memories have woven themselves into the very fabric of my consciousness. The crib and the plaintive whispers of the elderly woman have become nightly apparitions, tormenting my dreams with their spectral presence. I grapple with the enigma of what we unwittingly stumbled upon in that house, haunted by the notion that we awakened forces best left undisturbed. Perhaps, in our quest for understanding, we inadvertently unlocked a Pandora's box of truths that now claw at the edges of our sanity, leaving us forever haunted by the unforgettable night of terrors.